God damn it, man. All right. I was supposed to take a damn break today. A freaking break today. But then this goes all over the damn news, like the gaming news, and it's literally ridiculous. Re like, it's fucking ridiculous that I have to go ahead and do this. So, if you guys don't know who this is, this is considered Skyrim Grandma. This is Shirley Curry, who has been playing Skyrim for multiple years. Now, this is a woman who, um, who stated in this vlog that she has poor health, and that she, her blood pressure is going high, and things like rude comments in the freaking comment section, all these freaking other players causing major freaking issue for this lady is is causing her to um her like her pressure to go high or making her feel a lot more sick but you know if you guys don't believe me let's take a look at the vlog i'm gonna make you help you guys watch the vlog i'm gonna shut my mouth and then with that you guys are gonna see the vlog here good morning grandkids uh, this is probably gonna be short i hope um See. it's not gonna be a happy video but uh, there's some things that i have to say <clears throat> and there's some things i'm gonna have to do and uh, i just want to let you know um my health isn't very good my blood pressure is going insane my stress level is way too high and uh, I'm going to have to take control of it. Uh, some of the comments are stressing me out way too much. And if I look like I'm reading this, I am. I had to make everything I wanted to say so I didn't forget anything. I know that I shouldn't uh, let these things stress me out, but they do. That's just the way it is. Listen to this lady's tone. This lady sounds like literally she was beaten down verbally. Like she was like, she was like defeated. Like, like, like she feels defeated. It's like, you feel that tone right there. Really? It's really, really, really messed up. Like, 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 come on. This is, this is somebody's mother. And this is someone who could be anybody's mother. Like she could be, she could be my mother. She could be my grandmother. It, could, it really doesn't matter. It's just like literally that that's what happens nowadays, especially in the comment section on YouTube or Twitch. Anything in that those comment sections could literally cause someone to do a lot of crazy things or or cause someone to feel a certain way. But I'm sorry, let's continue. From now on, I will respond to very, very few comments. I will be deleting a lot of <coughs> comments. Here are some of the reasons why. I've played Skyrim for years, and I know about the HUD. I know about the different mechanics of how to play the game. And I don't have to be reminded and told all the time. Any comments I see like that is going to be deleted. I don't have to be told about what games to play uh, and describe to me what the games are like. I look at all the games. I'm a gamer. If I wanted to play them, I would be playing them. And when I tell somebody no, that's a simple answer, easily understood. You don't need to come back with why because I don't have to explain myself. And when I do, nobody seems to get it anyway. That's a very simple answer to understand, no. Okay, I'm sorry, like, I know I said I was gonna be quiet this whole thing. This is exactly a reason why I don't do things like play Fortnite, fucking Apex, or in your battle royales or anything like Valorant at the moment. It's like when people want you to play something, they want you to play something. No, everybody's playing the same damn thing. Let me play a game that I want to play. Like, I'm not going to play 
every damn game because of the fact that you just want like you want to see me play Fortnite. And then if I do something wrong, or if I did something you don't like, or how, or I didn't play it the way I didn't want to play it, I literally, it's, it gets to a point where it's like, you know what, I'm not playing because of the fact that I'm, <clears throat> I, I'm playing it because I want to have fun. Like, it's, it gets to a point where it's like, you know, when you do that for the fans, people would think, oh, like, oh, you're playing this game for the money. You're doing this for the money. Like, you see, like, you can never win with the comment section. Also, I'm tired of trying to explain roleplay to people, and I'm at the point where I don't even care if I make up a story in my head anymore and play it or not. I don't care. So when I scan down through the comments, as I see any words like in anything I've just said above, it's going to be deleted. Uh, I don't have time to deal with it. I'm not answering any more of it. I'm not going to try to make excuses for anything if you don't like it. If you don't like the way I play, I don't know why you watch. So you can just go watch some other gamers because I'm tired of stressing over it. Now, let me see. <clears throat> I'm not re enjoying recording anymore at all. It's no longer fun. Um, I feel like I'm under a microscope all the time. <laughs> I have much more fun and I play much better when I'm just playing by myself. So it, it's been causing, it gives, puts a lot of pressure on me, any gamer, when people are watching them. Especially when they nitpick everything they do. Oh my god, okay. You know what? Th th this lady sounds like she's not even enjoying gaming no more because people ruin it so much. Like, holy crap, like, I, I hate, I hate so much when people nitpick about, like, what I'm playing, who I'm playing. This is why I hate things like the Overwatch community. Because at one point, if you're playing someone like Zenyatta, it's like, no, don't play Zenyatta. No, don't play Zenyatta. Or you're playing Ash while you're playing Ash. Why don't you play someone skilled like Hanzo? Like, like, they nitpick every fucking thing, and it's so ridiculous. It's so damn ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous to a point where you, you can't even enjoy having the fucking game. You can't even be nice to the gaming community anymore. That's why I'm very, very fucking mean and toxic in Overwatch. Because there's like people like that. And they're like, oh, you know what? Why don't you play this game? Why don't you play this way? Why don't you play that way? Let me play the fucking way I want to play. Let me play who I want to fucking play. I don't care if it's freaking things like, you know what? If like, if like I'm playing DPS for Overwatch, right? I'm playing a soldier, and then we have like a Hanzo, and soldier does more damage than Hanzo at the moment. But the Hanzo is getting more fucking kills. I'm not gonna say nothing. What's what's the big deal? You see, it's stuff like this that makes gaming so fucking difficult, man. And especially like she she can't even enjoy recording. This is something that she can do. She make she when she does it on YouTube, she makes money from it. Poor lady came and enjoy a damn game. She came and make a video for you guys to enjoy watching. Would you guys do that? If some of you watch PewDiePie, Game Grumps, fucking Dashy, and like you know other people, but she came and enjoy doing it like other people do because people tend to go crazy in the comments. <laughs> Come on, like you guys nitpick on every fucking thing. I mean. I don't need people telling me what sword to use, what kind of armor I should have, that I should do this quest or this quest or this thing or that thing to finish a quest. If you know me well enough, you know I hate quests and that's not how I play. And also I get favorite things that I like to use and play with. If you want to do those things, go on and play your game and let me play mine. Hell yeah, my goodness, like, 
That bothers me. I, I play Skyrim. I play Fallout. I play anything. I have Oblivion right now because I'm doing a walkthrough of Oblivion. People, people at times will go ahead and say stuff like, "Oh, you like," like people will be like, "Oh, you know what? The greatest part is the Dark Brotherhood. Do the Dark Brotherhood, or use this weapon for the Dark Brotherhood. Craft this weapon for the Dark Brotherhood. Put the code in for this weapon. I don't want to fucking use it. I don't want to use it." Or oh, use orcish armor. Use orc armor. No, use the use the ember armor. Or use use the madness armor from the um the shimmering isles um DLC. No. Maybe I like my steel armor. Maybe I like my leather armor. Let me play what I want to freaking play. It's ridiculous now. It's majorly ridiculous. Like seriously, come on! Like now, I feel the freaking lady's pain because it's like when people tell me to do this, I'll be like, no, I want to play the way I want to freaking play. Unless I'm like at my ropes and they're like, oh, you know what? They're giving me advice to try to get past it faster. And okay, I'll think about it. I'll go ahead and think about it. But then if I can't play the game I want to play, then I want to play it. It's like fucking also like like fighting games. Like the tier list is like, oh, you should be practicing Sagat because he's tier S. Like, no, maybe I want to play as freaking Ken, who is tier, who is like tier F. And I want to freaking learn to play, play Ken. I like Ken. It's like literally ridiculousness. And if you don't like that, go watch somebody else play their game. Uh... So I'm not happy to record. I'm not gonna quit recording, but I'm not happy. Um, John Dor is bugged, and Valerica will not come outside. I cannot complete the quest if she doesn't. I won't be able to get the Elder Scroll <coughs> if she doesn't. Which means I would have to go back to some previous saves and play through that whole part again. And it's already driven me in cr crazy and I have no intention of ever ever playing through that again so I'm ending the genre series Chronicles that for good that's it it's over is it it gets to a point where like if you do something like if I play DMC right it's like the, the brand new Devil May Cry 5 People stop watching because you don't get full S tier freaking freaking codes or full S tier freaking um you know combos. It's like oh you know you're not good. I'm gonna unsubscribe. God, why? Why do you do that? Why you got to nitpick at stuff? Because I bet you those are people that don't get S tier stuff like that or anything specific for what they're looking for. Don't get 100% on their walkthroughs. It's like literally gets to a point where that makes it so unfun. Just not just for any other gamer, not just for DMC, but every other game that people just nitpick. I'm going to do the game the way I want to do it. Let the freaking lady live and have fun with recording it. I only started recording a few years ago because <coughs> subscribers I had at the time ask me if I would and I just did it for a lark and this is what all has happened and uh, I can't deal with it so many gamers are obsessed with numbers and I guess because they're trying to make a living out of it so I can understand that but I'm not so I have no interest in numbers. I don't care how many people follow me. I don't care how many people watch me. None of that makes any difference to me. I play to have fun. If I don't have fun, I shouldn't be playing. Um, it's just snowballed beyond anything that I can handle anymore. And it's taking up way too much of my time. I said that to say this. Anyone who doesn't enjoy watching me can always go watch better players who run after quests and numbers and see how fast they can speed through everything without really 
seeing all that I love that's in the game. I think, oh my goodness. And I said it has to do with a lot of people. Like, there are those that do walkthroughs. There are do, people that do speed runs. There are do, people that do, like, you know, all s rank things on certain characters where you get like a certain grade and certain like you know levels or missions and you do things certain like 100 percent find all the items yeah you guys can go ahead and see that that's the that's the beauty of youtube you can go ahead and find different videos on that but then when somebody plays it in a certain way if somebody plays things in a certain way and someone destroys that because of the fact they just want to just go ahead and destroy it just to be a dick you know, that, that kills everything and kills the fun for it. This lady doesn't care about making the money off of it. She just wants to make the videos for people to see and have fun. You know? But then at one point, people just go ahead and destroy this lady for no damn reason. No damn reason at all. Like, come on. If that's what you want, go watch them. Oh, I don't care. Um, I'll probably lose viewers over this. I... But I can't help that. Yeah, if that's what you want, that's fine. Um, compared, compare the number of subscribers I have. What is it now? Over 820,000 subscribers. For the record, this is her channel. 840. 40,000 subscribers, almost to a million. I literally like, 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 why? You know what? I'm gonna. I subscribed. I'm gonna support her. There's a lot of people, like, on the internet want to go ahead and destroy things and destroy people. You know who else did? You know who else did that? You know what? Who else had that issue? There was a pro wrestler that had to deal with that. I'm gonna go to it. Um, um pro wrestler. Um, I think it's Hannah. Or Hara. It's like it's like um it's literally gets to a point where like there is one where it's pro wrestler death at twenty-two. Right here. Hannah Kamara, pro wrestler at Ter and Terrence House Star. Dead at twenty-two, professional wrestler at Terrence House cast member Anna Kamara died on saturday confirmed japanese wrestler organized stardom wrestling her cause of death has not been confirmed but now recently because this bothers me and this bothers me like literally because i'm gonna go on to one of the things that the member the members of the wrestling community expressed a grief over kimura's death on social media with ronda rousey sign writing there are no messages that can heal the wound Many pointed out the dangers of cyberbullying. She's been literally cyberbullied bu cyber constantly. Constantly. And that caused her to do something crazy. Because apparently she was the subject of cyberbullying. So, it's a possibility that she went ahead and passed away due to the fact that literally it was suicide because of that. And I'm not making no confirmed because it says it's not to be confirmed. But with the constant things like cyberbullying, it can cause someone to do a lot of different things because people will take different things differently. People will take di like interactions differently. But people like to make that a joke. People think that's okay. Even to a point where they're doing this to this poor lady, and to the fact that it's not is making it now fun, unfun for her to do her job. That sucks. And look at how many viewers I have. Three to four thousand usually on a video average. She has one hundred twenty twenty six thousand 
on this video. I think she's doing a great job. I barely get like probably like three or four on my video. That's a ridiculous difference. What does it mean? What do all those subscribers mean? It means they never come and watch the videos, so why are they there? Oh, uh, you know. So I tried I've tried to make videos to make a lot of people happy, but then I look at my analytics and find out that the the viewing length of time on the average is about five minutes. So you either don't watch the video or you just skip through it and that's it. So why am I spinning my wheels trying to make stories, progressive stories, that nobody's cognizant of? I'm wasting my time. Oh my God, yes. Okay, it's like me going ahead and going to watch um, Endgame, uh, Avengers Endgame. I'm watching the beginning. I keep on skipping to each different, like, like probably like like within ten or twenty minutes of the movie constantly. I'm at the moving skip ten, skip twenty minutes. I'm in another movie, skip twenty minutes. I at least get a couple of views, but then I get like a couple of seconds. That's some bullshit. I I understand why I understand why she um would be upset about that because she wants to try to go ahead and make stories and nobody wants to listen to them. Like it, it kind of makes it to a point. It's like why the why the hell am I doing this? So I kind of understand her point. And it's stressing me out. So I'm going to quit doing it. Um. I'm no longer going to try to have a video up every day. Well, I'm not no longer going to try. I'm not going to have a video uploaded every day. My new schedule will be Jari on Saturday and Sunday because I have fun with her. It's relaxing, it's laid back, <clears throat> and it's fun. If nobody wants to watch it, that's fine with me. I'm playing it. For myself and then I'll do some sort of small short series that doesn't involve very many videos for it and I'll play that on Tuesday and Thursday and after each one's over I'll start some different kind but I don't even care if it's a story anymore uh, nobody ever seems to understand the fact that I role play so, oh, what difference does it make? I'm just going to play to play and pff, whatever. It bothers me. It really does. I like, what is the point of doing all these things for viewers? Like my schedule every day right now for my videos is to do a one video at least every day. Even if, even if I don't do a video, I try to stream. I try to stream but then the problem is with that now this poor lady gets literally bullshitted and literally bullied off to what she likes to do because people are too nitpicky or they don't like what they what she's seeing and then now she has to put up a little mini schedule for everybody and it's it's it's, it's embarrassing it's it's freaking embarrassing to actually want to do stuff like this now like I want, like I want to be able to do things like you know, like, like, like in a sense, I want to be able to bring good content to people. But then it gets to a point where stuff like this, you know, of how this lady feels, she doesn't even want to do any of this stuff no more. It makes it so unfun. Like I'm probably like I hope that possibly within a couple of years I could be able to at least hit a thousand or probably more, and, and you know, and, and what sucks. What majorly sucks is that if I do this and then I'm going to have to deal with things like the comments and everything. And the excuse of that is that now, you know, it's the internet. This is how the internet is. This is what the internet is. No, you don't get on. You, you don't basically just get on the internet just to be a dick. If you're getting on the internet or on a game just to be a dick, 
I don't know what's wrong with you. I really don't. You can blatantly go fuck yourself on that one. Because now, someone that people supported, some people that, you know, like to see, now she's not going to be able to do a lot for those people who would like to see her because you guys screw it, other people screwed it up. Uh, I'll do a vlog once in a while when I get mail or something. And I'm going to take at least two weeks off before I start a different schedule, start anything different. <coughs> In all of this, I'm not trying to be cranky or mean or hateful. I've tried to explain myself before and nobody gets it. Just recently, I tried to explain myself to someone and they came right back at me with more and and I can't handle it. That just finished topping off my stress and, and my blood pressure just shot right up. So I can't do this. I have to care for my health because nobody else is going to but me. You, you see how defeated this lady sounds? Her health is literally not too well, like she states. And because of this shit, people tend to go ahead and go out of their way for this. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. It's like, this is something that everybody is just taking away from this poor lady now. And she has to do this because nobody's going to take care of her. Nobody's going to want to take care of her. Nobody's going to do things for her. Come on. And, uh, so that's it. I'm trying to get my health under control. I'm not trying to be cranky and mean. So those are the few points. I'm not going to comment very much at all. I'm going to delete a lot as long as it keeps on. My schedule's going to be changed to a lot less videos and a lot different type videos. Is that it? I think that was it. So, uh, I'll say goodbye for now. Thank you for listening. And uh, I might have a video of Jerry up Sunday, and then I'm going to take two weeks off before I decide on what I'm going to play or do. So I will see you then. So goodbye for now. Thanks for listening. You see, poor lady, you see, this is my problem. This is the freaking problem. And you know what? This is why a lot of people now fight back. All right? A lot of people tend to say things, I mean, in regards to, you know, like some of the people who are commenting, some of the people who are saying things in, in return. Um, and, and it's ridiculous. <clears throat> it's ridiculous that people literally get to this point where they have to take someone off the off the platform or off of something that they love. And it's embarrassing that it's coming from like YouTube community or wherever this lady goes on for a platform and you have the gaming community and it's embarrassing. For people like me who love to do videos because of the fact that <coughs> this poor lady is getting bullied right off. Bullied and like made fun of or told what to do or getting to a point where like, you know, like, like where the gamers just make it the game unfun for her. Like, oh, play like this, do like that. Oh, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Why weren't you doing this? Why weren't you doing that? Like, like, 
Like, like, like, like, let the lady play the way she wants to freaking play. Like, holy crap, like, I feel extremely bad for this lady. I really do. Because this lady liked doing these videos, not for the money, but just for the hell that, you know, people can watch her story. People can go ahead and do something fun with it. People can just, like, you know, see that she likes to role play and everything. But now, he will destroy it for this lady. Now, she's going to do less videos because she doesn't enjoy it anymore. Now, less videos... People now don't get to see most of the content now because of the fact that, hey, instead of doing it every day, now it's every other day or it's on a different schedule now or it's less than what it is. <laughs> people like Tyrone Magnus, people like certain people, um, I would say, in other channels, and now um, Grandma Gamer have to look at comments, delete the comments because people don't know how to act fucking embarrassing it's really embarrassing like when i get comments and i and they don't benefit me somehow if someone just says oh uh, like oh you suck at this game all right you're getting deleted there's no reason for you to comment that i already know that i probably suck at the game one and two of the fact that what's the point of this what what's that what how am i gonna get better or play the way you want me to play if that's going to happen. Comment what you guys think below. Um, I really want to know what everybody's um, idea about this. Um, I support Grandma Gamer. I think for those who really care about gaming and care about, you know, people being able to play wherever they want to play. I would, I would tell you to support her as well. Um, my advice to Grandma Gamer is to ignore these people. Um... You're going to get these people online a lot. It doesn't excuse what they're doing is right because it's because it's not right at all. And play the game you want you want to play. Do do things the way you want to do it. Because it makes it more fun when you want to do it that way. Don't play because you want to play it and don't play don't, like I mean, don't play because you, like other people want you to play it other people have wanted me to play fortnite i don't want to fucking play fortnite or apex it's ridiculous man definitely subscribe to the ehg community definitely turn on your notifications when we get new streams and new videos definitely join us on our facebook group our discord channel subscribe to our moderator support our sponsors and check out our merchandise but this is your boy Crazy Maze 98, aka Nicholas Morales, founder of the EHG community, and stay tuned for another video.